Oh man, this is sweet. How you guys did all this? How do you get it all the right size? Everything's made on the spot. Everything is made on the spot. Everything is made to fit. Wow. That's amazing. Now we gotta go get lunch with Mythic, Mr. Air, 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 Air. I mean, Mr. Air Greeno. <laughs> And we got to go out to a roof that he did so we can record it with the drone. So my buddy Eric Reno calls me up, the roofer, and he's like, dude, I need you to come out and, and do drone footage and photography for this monster roof that we're doing. I'm like, dude, I'm busy. I can't do it. He's like, I'll pay you, please, please, I'll pay you. I'm like, whatever, I'll do it. And I'm glad I did because this project was so inspiring that uh, he looks at roofing like an art form and I, I had to turn it into a vlog and share it with you I also put his uh, roofing YouTube channel in the link below and so enjoy the vlog What up now? We're gonna get some lost tortugas up in this bitch, son! <laughs> so, did you bring your drone? Mine broke, the gimbal's like doing something weird, I didn't know. You brought your drone, right? I brought my drone. Yes. Yes, sir. Because we need to do the drone shots, man. You gonna be okay on like a cloudy day? A cloudy day is the best for photography. Sweet. It's a nice even cast. Tortugas, this place is delicious, man. It is a kind of like a hole in the wall Mexican restaurant in Shelby Township, and they got like the best food ever. So, if you're ever in this area, you gotta come here. It's amazing. So, we're sitting here. This, this, this guy, his company, they did 16 roofs last week. How much does each roof average? Average roof's like 10 to 13,000. I would so, say so, average. 180,000 or something? Yeah, I would say so. I don't in know one week? Numbers. And you right. got like 22 real estate properties? Right. Managing it all at once. Managing it all at once? It gets to be a little overwhelming, but definitely worth it once you get to that. Once you get that motor running constantly, get it tuned, get the right people in position. Check out his YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description below. That's it. Cool. And then leaving him Wednesday is going to be estimates, and then Tuesday and Thursday, whatever we need him for. Okay. We are driving to Bloomfield to look at a roof that we just did. Driving to Bloomfield to look at a roof. Oh my God. God. So, anyways, let's take pictures of this roof. Every day when I wake, I want to make change. These the last days of my life. Searching and hoping and praying for better days. Any day ain't a thing to make the pain go away. Now I lay me down to sleep, hoping I wake. Look at both every breath that I take. Never close your eyes on these dark clouds and rain. Hard aching pain, all these childish things. Right. Mavic drone, dog. What are you doing? Breaking my Mavic drone, dog. Why? <laughs> I don't fucking know. This motherfucker won't fit. Trying to fly a drone over this house to get the after pictures because did before. Now it's the this. kind of a pain because there's different ones, different plastic ones that fit different. It should be all in there. Well, I'm sure they were at one point. What's up, everybody? This is Eric Reno. We're back here at this house that we shot some pre footage. If you want this video to make sense, you got to check out the one that we shot before this. We're here now. The house is done. We're wrapped up. Let's see what's going on. So, again, we installed the Certainty. Grand Manor Gatehouse Slate Shingle. This is a 405 pound per square shingle. This is the most expensive asphalt shingle that I know of on the market. Also, we put copper valleys, copper gutters, copper downspouts, everything on this roof as far as accessories is all copper based. Uh, we have our ridge vents, our shingle ridge cap, which is, comes 10 feet in a bundle, again, super expensive. Uh, but in the end, we have a flawless finished product on this job. And we're just so proud to, you know, make some videos of it man so when you're on the job it's all hardships and you're all you know it's tough and everybody's stressed out you know we're protecting everything all the little stone ledges you know you can't let a hammer fall and nick the corner or the flower pots everything's falling and guys are using stuff and you just want to make sure like when you work with this limestone you know if a, if a, a hammer falls and hits this it chips the corner off you know all these little things that have so many moving parts the flower pots over there nothing can hit those and chip those this is all drive it or stucco limestone you can't touch it your finger marks will go all over it 
it's very complex stuff. When everybody's here, it's almost like, you know, a little bit of stress and anxiety, but when it's done, it's just like, bam. You know, we, we did it. We, we got through it. Now it's a beautiful thing. So check it out, when you first get started and you get going, you know, this is not something you immediately go after. You gotta make sure you have the crew, you have the equipment, and then you have the confidence to get involved in something like this. Sometimes, you know, you get a little bit above yourself and you just quote something and then you actually get involved in it and then it's a little bit overwhelming. Oh man, this is sweet. How you guys did all this? How do you get it all the right size? Everything's made on the spot. Everything is made on the spot, everything is made to fit. Wow, that's amazing. So in conclusion, one more thing to bring up, you know, when you're doing houses like this and you're dealing with people of this caliber, you gotta realize that they know so many people because this is what they do. They interact with a lot of people, obviously, they must. So you do a good job for somebody like this. You present yourself well. As an owner, you're on the job or salesman or whoever's leading the, the job is always part of it and on the job and the reviews will always come to you, so. So the Milwaukee Tool measuring wheel, I gave this to my buddy Eric Reno, Milwaukee Tool. So nice to send it to me to review it, but I don't use this stuff a lot. But you're a roofer, yes, and sir. you're on roofs all the time measuring stuff. Yes. And I showed him this wheel one day. He sat by my uh, my house. He's like, oh, dog. I was like, you can have it. <laughs> and so you've been using this for nine months now. Yeah, it's been about nine months now. Talk yep. about it. It's absolutely great. It's fast. It's easy to walk through with your hands and uh, with the trigger to stop. I constantly roofs a lot, but gutters, I mean, you just kind of walk, stop, walk, stop. And I'll actually take pictures of it, take pictures of the gutter, and I take pictures of that. So I know it's that gutter's 100 feet, it says 100 feet there. Oh, so, the you, so you can hit the trigger and stop it when you want. Take pictures right. of the roof, take pictures of that. And yep. so it's, it's, is it the best measuring wheel you've ever used? Definitely the best measuring wheel i ever used. And this thing, you know, as, as, as constantly being in the field, throwing this thing in the back of my truck and getting rained on, stepped on, ran over, it's still, <laughs> it's still in good working order. Look at all, all I broke was this little plastic handle. Besides that, this thing is, it's Hondo. It's Hondo? It's Hondo. What does that mean? It's 100%. <laughs> <laughs> this has got a little kickstand on it. Yeah, it's this. got a little kickstand on it. Look at this. So, so oh, no, it's got the kickstand. Look at that. It's just chilling now. It looks like a little Segway. You ride it around, right? right. And you can put a little seat on here. It could be a unicycle. <laughs> and it'll count how many. A you know, unicycle. It count how far you go. <laughs> <laughs> so perfect, man. The Milwaukee measuring wheel. It is very nice. It's dope. Um, it folds in half. Let's show, show the. Fold. And for all the for all the hunters out there, you know, it's got a real nice pistol grip. You know, so yeah. You can always. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a weapon. You can write tire tracks on someone's face. Yeah, so you break it down. Yeah. Easy clip. Handle. Look, at the handle still works even though one's half broken. Cool. And then you can just throw it. And it's good to go the next time right. you gotta go. And he was just showing the durability of yeah, the thing. But... Okay. Alright, cool. I Thanks, Eric. Really well. So I can't pass up the opportunity. I've got to start carrying some groceries up the stairs because the white patron's cooking dinner. But I've got to start YouTubing this. So my wife is, um, we babysit, she babies, we babysit dogs that are being rescued from bad situations in like Detroit until they get rehomed. So we kind of are fostering these cute little puppies and it seems like every other night we have a different cute puppy. From Shih Tzus to Yorkies, I mean I literally, I'm falling in love with some of these dogs. And let me show you. Grace, you want to go play? We fell in love with her and ended up keeping her. 
Oh, hi, you baby. Her name is Gracie. But look at this little doggy. Oh, oh, look at this baby. Gracie wants to go and play. Go and play. Go play, little girl. Go play. Oh. <laughs> oh what's, it, what's her name? Mia. Mia? Yesterday we had a little white Shih Tzu puppy. So I'm going to start putting this on YouTube. And then the other night we had this one dog. I literally went in the basement and I slept with him all night long. I was petting him and I was like crying. Like a weirdo. Lucky his, is his, very lucky. lucky. His ribs were showing and he was in a bad situation. And you just bond with these animals. And no more. I can't. This is really exciting. Why are you buying all this junk food? What is this? Oh. Holy shmouch. Mickey! Oh! He's so good,